always nice when butterflies pass through your garden, but if you want them to stay, you need specific plants. And Sabina, that's what we're talking about today. Yes, butterfly gardening consists of two different groups of plants. And that's the host plant where the specific butterflies only lay their eggs on. A monarch would never lay any eggs on any other plants than plants out of the milkweed family. Is it ornamental or is it a common native uh, milkweed? It doesn't matter. The other group of plants they need are the nectar plants where they feed on. And that's important to have both groups in your garden. That way you keep the butterflies the whole year round or the whole season round and you can create a habitat for butterflies. Okay, so if you've got room, you've got everything you need here in this box for a bigger garden. Yes, it's a well um, chosen as, uh, assortment of perennials and annuals and you can fill a garden of three square meters or 10 square feet with that plant material. Okay, the one people probably know is the butterfly bush. You need a lot of room for one of these. Yes, and they are absolutely amazing how they attract the butterflies late summer and in the fall. So people who don't have that much room, they can also attract butterflies. Yes, and that is the interesting part. Even if you live on a balcony in a, in a high rise, the butterflies still find your plants and you just use a container, is it a window box or a big planter, and those, this is the smallest annual butterfly kit, and you can plant it, and you have a beautiful summer planter for the whole season. All right, thanks, Sabina. Get Growing was brought to you by Greenway Blooming Center and Naturium, making relationships bloom.